Welcome back to the Azure Enablement Show. This is the second part in a three episode series. And in this episode, we'll be talking about how to streamline your productivity with GitHub Copilot. Hi, I'm Aaron. And if you want to know how to leverage AI in your developer work stream, this is the perfect episode for you. Because today we'll be covering several learning resources that Microsoft has available for GitHub Copilot. As always, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below so we can get back to you. And smash that like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you get notified of all of our latest episodes. Natalie, our AI skilling lead from Azure Marketing, she'll be back with us today to take us through all the skilling resources and chat through GitHub Copilot. Thanks, Aaron. As always, I'm really excited to be here and to chat about the different learning options that we've got at Microsoft for Copilot's integration with GitHub. No, I'm super excited. This is actually one of my favorite topics since I feel like AI for development is still a relatively new untapped area. However, before we jump into everything, I'd recommend checking out episode one for all of our viewers that have not seen that. Um, it gives a great overview of Copilot and all the related resources that we covered. You can find a link to that episode in the description below. But back to Natalie, I'm super excited to have you take us through a quick overview of what Copilot looks like on the GitHub platform. Yes. So just pulling up a quick demo here of what GitHub Copilot actually looks like. GitHub Copilot is really transforming the developer experience. It lets developers focus on problem solving and collaboration and less time with a lot of those mundane tasks that are were part of their workflow beforehand. Unlike other AI assistants, Copilot is natively built into, Copi into GitHub. And that means it's integrating with leading editors. So GitHub Copilot, is enabling developers to ship software faster without a loss in quality. This is incredible to hear. I don't think there's ever really been a service that has been offered like this before. And I love the key difference that you pointed about um, how Copilot is actually natively built into GitHub, giving it a little bit more of an intuitive and organic feeling. Uh, but for all of our viewers out there, can you take us through some skilling content for developers yes. that want to learn how to use or better use GitHub Copilot for their work stream? Yes, Aaron, I want to show you guys one of the first resources that I've pulled up here, which is a collection of video series called Introduction to GitHub Copilot. This is a great video series. You're going to be learning all about our AI powered assistant, GitHub Copilot. You'll also get a more expansive overview of what GitHub Copilot actually is, what it does, helpful suggestions when writing code or documentation, and how to use this tech to improve software development. Highly recommend. This is great insight, Natalie, to get that high level look at GitHub Copilot and the different features it offers. What about developers who also use Visual Studio and their development work stream? Are there any resources available for them that might want to integrate between GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio? Yes, Aaron, I have just the thing. This next resource is another video series called GitHub Copilot for Visual Studio. In this video series, our viewers will be able to learn how to use GitHub Copilot to increase productivity, as well as develop with Visual Studio. These videos will help our viewers get started on adding resiliency to their apps, how to use Copilot to write .NET MAUI apps, building Blazor web apps faster, as well as many other subjects. Now, this is incredible, especially because of how popular Visual Studio is. This seems like the perfect place for anyone who wants to start using GitHub Copilot and is already a user of Visual Studio. Um, but I'm also a little bit curious, Natalie. Can you show us anything interesting for people that might want to use GitHub Copilot to actually learn about AI and machine learning fundamentals, um, even more advanced concepts? For those wanting to expand their AI knowledge, like you mentioned, we have another great series called Learning AI with GitHub Copilot. This video series is going to cover how GitHub Copilot can help you learn more about AI and about those fundamental concepts that you talked about. You'll learn about AI domains, exploring machine learning, um, what it takes to build a classification model, and as you mentioned, getting your toes wet on neural networks. <laughs> I actually have watched these videos and I love them. I didn't realize that there was more expansive. What about any kind of skilling activities that are available for de developers who prefer self-paced learning or more interactive and hands-on learning? I totally hear you. 
as we know, people learn in all different types of ways. Mm -hmm. Videos might not be appropriate for everyone uh, or someone might want to complement those videos with uh, some hands-on learning. So we've got a great learning path called GitHub Copilot Fundamentals, Understanding the AI Pair Programmer. I pull that up here and we're going to go a little bit more in depth on this in our next episode, as you mentioned, but this learning path is going to help our viewers implement GitHub Copilot by walking through use cases, step-by-step -step instructions on enabling GitHub Copilot. This is really a powerful tool to develop your GitHub Copilot skills, and we're going to demo this next time. This is perfect. The amount of resources, the amount of modalities, uh, it's just always so cool to see what Microsoft has um, in their in their back pocket. But Natalie, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today to share all of your skilling knowledge about GitHub Copilot. Thank you, Aaron. As always, it's a pleasure to come and to share with all of our viewers out there what Microsoft has to offer for, for anyone who's looking to get skilled up on AI. Yes, I love it. And for our viewers, be sure to check out the description below to find any links for everything that we chatted about today for GitHub Copilot. And while you're there, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss out on any future episodes. If there's any questions about what we talked about in today's episode, you can also leave a comment so that we can make sure to get back to you. And lastly, check out this link so you can find any additional information about the skilling resources we covered. Thank you for watching. Until next time. <laughs>